Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today we're diving deep into the world of Android customization for rooted users. If you're running a custom kernel and you're looking for a modern, powerful, and beautiful way to manage your device's performance, then you are in the right place. We're going to install Extra Kernel Manager, a fantastic new tool that gives you fine-grained control over your CPU. And the best part? It installs as a simple Magisk module. Let's get started. All right, let's get this installed. It's super easy since it's a Magisk module. First, head over to the Extra Kernel Manager GitHub page. I'll have the link in the description below. Now, open your Magisk app, tap on the Modules tab at the bottom, then tap the button that says Install from Storage. Navigate to your Downloads folder and select the Extra Kernel Manager zip file you just downloaded. Once it's done, you'll see a Reboot button at the bottom. Tap it. Your phone will now restart. After rebooting, open your app drawer and you should now see the new Extra Kernel Manager app. Let's open it up. The first time you launch it, it will ask for super user or root permission. Go ahead and grant it. Here's the main dashboard. You can immediately see all your CPU cores and their live temperatures. The interface is so clean. So what exactly is Extra Kernel Manager? First, you get real-time CPU temperature monitoring. You can see the temperature of each individual core, which is perfect for knowing how your device is handling heavy tasks or gaming. Next, for the power users, it shows you detailed thermal zone status. This is amazing for advanced debugging if you're trying to figure out exactly what's causing your phone to heat up. CPU tuning. This is where you can change your CPU governor on the fly. Want maximum power for gaming? Switch the governor to performance. Want to save battery on a long day? Switch it to power save. It's that simple. So there you have it, a quick and easy way to install a powerful modern kernel manager on your rooted Android device. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Android customization content. Let me know in the comments what custom kernel you're using. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.